Section 6.1 takes up the topic of bivariate distributions. Everything we have looked at before this has been a univariate random variable. That is, there's one random variable in play at a time. Now what we do in this particular section is bring that up to bivariate random variables. And that is, we're looking at two random variables at a time. And in the last section, we will generalize that to looking at n random variables at a time. So here are three quick examples. In economics, you have two random variables, namely gross domestic product and unemployment, that could be viewed simultaneously. Well, when unemployment goes up, when you have more people unemployed, then your gross domestic product is certainly going to go down. And so these two variables here might be negatively correlated. So you might have negative correlation between those two random variables. Here's another one from sociology. A wife's height and a husband's height. Now this is easy to gather data on. What they have found is there is a slight positive correlation between those two random variables. Taller men will tend to um, marry taller women on average. Capitalism. Here we have a college football game and there are soft drink sales and hot dog sales. Well, once again, we have a negative correlation here. What happened? What happens is early in the season, say a game in August or September, you have a lot of soft drink sales because people are thirsty. Later in the season, say a game in October or November, now all of a sudden the hot dog sales go up and the soft drink sales go down. Why? Because it's much cooler. So you have a negative correlation but you don't have something between these two which is known as causality. They are linked to the temperature. Hotter days increase soft drink sales, cooler days increase hot dog sales and that induces the negative correlation although there is no causality between the two variables. Finally in, in medicine you have cholesterol level, triglyceride level and blood pressure. Now this time we have three random variables not just two and they have a trivariate distribution. So for now we're going to stick with bivariate distributions but you will get to a case with three random variables where you will have a trivariate distribution. So the goal here is to extend the probability models for random variables, that is univariate random variables, developed so far to two or more random variables.